Taiko. It has existed in Japan for hundreds of years. The word refers to the drum itself, but nowadays Taiko can also stand for ensemble drumming. Two years ago, students from the Nikkei Student Union followed in the footsteps of other collegiate groups and formed their own Taiko club. It's called Umi Taiko, which means beach Taiko. Uh, and that was, I believe that was um, a consensus of uh, everybody in the group as to being our name. To stay in the cheaper side, Umi Daiko plays on buckets sealed with packing tape. Most local groups play in wine barrels with cowskin. And the real deal? Well, genuine Taiko can cost as much as a new car, simply because of the manufacturing process. In Japan, they play um, out of, uh, they hollow out a uh, tree, the trunk, and they put, you know, the skin on top. But we play, you know, wine barrels, and we're from California. So, um, it's, it's just something different. Despite playing on humble drums, the Taiko Club has used buckets for campus performances, even managing to draw new members. From there, I was like, hey, that's really interesting. And at that point, I was just like, I was still a freshman, so I just wanted to like do as many fun things as possible because I hated my high school because I didn't do much. Taiko is unique not only because of its music, but because it's physically demanding. Called kata, various playing positions are implemented in Taiko. Most common is standing with the left leg bent low and the right leg straight. The rigorous arm movements alone would make someone break a sweat. But in spite of all of this, practitioners are usually hooked. It's really grown into, I guess, a real spiritual thing for me now. Uh, you know, when I was little, it used to be just something for fun, but now it's like I play for, you know, my friends, I play for my family, um, I play for, you know, my heritage. For me, I'm full Chinese, and Taiko is a Japanese thing, so it just, you know, I just find some just being on stage performing and just meeting all different people just you know it I think too it creates a, um, a sense of bond between everybody and even for those who don't play taiko watching performers beat the drums is a whole new experience it was an eye-opener I didn't realize you could play drums on just a box and well bucket I mean a tape and it sounds real good and then the hand movements coordination uh, it's just a real eye-opener to see what else is out there besides just regular drums and different cultures, the way they perform and do all the things they do. So if you're looking